I am making my famous Southern mac and cheese, but I'm adding sweet blue crab. You can't get any better than that. So I boiled the crabs for about 10 minutes, picked the meat, and now I'm gonna saute it. Putting in about two tablespoons of olive oil, I'm gonna add onions and garlic to this. Add. And I'm going to saute this for a few minutes until the onions get translucent. So when the garlic and onion have wilted down and become translucent, I'm gonna add in the crab meat and you want some of the crab to stick to the pan as well. I just think it's so cool when you're eating the macaroni and cheese and you get that big lump of crab meat, it's like a gift. Now that the crab is ready and I still got kind of some of that, that burnt stuff in there that I want it, I'm gonna transfer the crab back into the original bowl that I took it from. And I'm gonna use sherry to deglaze the pan, which is just fancy for saying, take the good stuff from off the bottom. So I'm gonna use about a half a cup. Woo, baby! I'm gonna start on my roux. Two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna let that melt. I'm gonna also add in flour. That's the start of a roux. A roux has butter and flour, or some type of fat and flour. And I'm gonna whisk in one tablespoon. The roux is basically the start of a bechamel sauce, which basically is an elevated cheese sauce, okay? And the reason I'm using a whisk is because we don't want lumps in our roux. You see that color? It's everything from the pan. And as you see, we deglazed all of that brown stuff that normally you would think, oh, it's time to wash the pot. Don't you wash that pot. Deglaze it. Now we're gonna add in a pint of heavy cream. We're gonna start building our roux and our cheese sauce. That's good. Now I'm gonna use about one cup of regular whole milk, okay? I haven't added the cheese yet, but just the smell of the sherry and the garlic and all of the stuff that was in the pan that was left. Oh my goodness. Now I have four ounces of shredded Gruyere Parmesan and about eight ounces of shredded extra sharp yellow cheddar. These cheeses just work really, really well together. You get a good funky sharp taste from the Gruyere cheese and we're gonna leave some sharp cheddar because we're gonna top it with more cheddar. And I'm gonna slide in that Parmesan. Just give it a whisk. Two teaspoons of dry mustard. Dry mustard just gives us this really great bite. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. And the smoked paprika gives it a nice little smoky flavor. So I'm gonna also add in salt and pepper. Not only are we getting a bite from the mustard, we get a bite from the pepper. I'm adding in some freshly chopped parsley, thyme, and tarragon. And that's just gonna balance out all of the sharpness. I'm gonna let that cheese sauce simmer. I've already boiled one pound of pasta. It's basically just one box. And I have drained it. I did reserve about a cup of pasta water. I'm not gonna use an entire cup, but I did save a bit because of the starch is gonna help as a binding agent to keep the macaroni and cheese together. I mean, it's still a casserole, so you still have to have some type of structure. I am going to add this glorious cheese sauce directly in the pot with the pasta. Ooh, yes! Let's give it a stir. And did you forget about the crab meat? I didn't. We're gonna add in the sauteed crab meat with the onions and garlic cheese, crab meat, fresh herbs. Oh my goodness, you can't go wrong. I wanna add in four ounces of cream cheese just to make it a little creamier. And remember, we had four ounces of cheddar we let sit to the side for a very good reason. The cheese whisk give it a nice little crust on top. There we go, that looks delicious. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 375 for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it gets nice and brown on top.